I'm Allie, and I've been living solo in my RV since July 2020. I'm celebrating midlife in my own special way. I cruised into Arizona, I don't know, like a week ago, and I was gonna stay. Sorry about the shake. <sighs> view, more view. And then the sun is in my eyes. <clears throat> okay, so I cruised into um, Arizona and I was gonna stay outside of a town called Marana. It's just outside of Tucson. And I wasn't able to actually get through um, a wash area that had been affected by the there was a lot of there was some really big monsoons this year in Arizona so it affected a lot of the roads that I normally could travel down and there really isn't anywhere else I feel comfortable in outside of Marana and I feel really comfortable there so I'm gonna have to try it again maybe in January if there's not rain January February tend to winter in Arizona southern Nevada you know southern Utah sunny places that reach 65 degrees during the day in the winter. So I um, I was really looking for familiar. I really wanted to be somewhere familiar where I felt safe again. Um, not that I wasn't didn't feel safe in Texas, but Texas wasn't familiar to me. There's not a lot of public lands there for a nomad like me. So um, I left Texas for sure. Um, it was time. I was there for a month and a week, I believe. And um, Arizona feels like home to me. I'm a resident here. And since Marana wasn't working, I went ahead and made a mad dash for Quartzite. I'm not the biggest fan of Quartzite, but it is good for nomads. There's resources there. There's camping there. There's a shitload of camping there. And I ended up staying there for a couple days. And I realized... I'm not going, I'm going to be going to my mother's house for Christmas, but it was still early December. I don't, I'm not sure of the date. It's like the 7th, 8th, 9th. I don't know what today is, but I still have a few more weeks until I go to mom's house. Um, and she lives in the area. So I still had places to stay. So I backtracked and came out here. I'm not going to tell you where I am though. There's just some places I don't disclose. This place is... It's actually rather hard to get to. Um, I'm surprised my RV gets up this road. Some people will call it a Jeep road. So I'm gonna keep hiking and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> actually, it is my story. So, and I'm just kind of chilling here in the desert. I'm gonna have to Oh wait, am I over here? That's what it looks like. I don't think it's over there. Looks like the clearest way is this way. Okay, if any of you know me personally or if I've mentioned it before, I'm terrified of heights. <laughs> so um, I'm not usually the hiker that likes to climb peaks, although this one has been tempting me for a couple of years, but I'm not gonna do it. I would have to, I have to travel up and then let's see, through that saddle up there. And um, it's not happening today. So I'm just on an exploratory hike just to see how far I can get. I might go further. If you've seen my other videos, <clears throat> sometimes I would go further. Like I was in, oh gosh, Brownwood, Lake Brownwood in Texas, and I was riding my bike. And I thought if anybody was on the trail or if I had a partner riding with me, I would definitely be a little more evil Knievel. Not quite evil Knievel. Um, like 5% evil Knievel. Um, but since I'm by myself, I I don't like taking risks. Um, and plus nobody else is up here with me. And I just keep saying, no mountain lions, no mountain lions, please, no mountain lions. Sure is pretty up here though. It kind of is fun to have it all to yourself.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Escaping the Palo Verde. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I should stop looking at the camera. Where do I go from here? <laughs> Probably down that way. So I'm like the biggest hiker dork, okay? So you see the rock face behind me? I'm going, hell, hell, I could probably climb up that. It's not too much of an incline. And I'm like, where the heck do I go? And I tried, let me turn this around down there and then I tried going up that way I go no that doesn't seem right and I came you know I came this way and then you can see my feet go right there and I'm just kind of like looking like this doesn't feel like a trail and then I look down oh there it is I didn't have to climb all this I could have just gone around so <sighs> backtrack you guys I can't believe how lush it is up here like it feels a, like cold but a little bit humid and there's grasses growing in the ground I'm also thankful all right let's go this way I'm also thankful that it's chilly because I'd be scared of running into a snake up here that's for sure this is a great place for snakes to hide but it's pretty cold it's maybe 60 degrees so hopefully no snakes. So I had the section I was dreading. I was hoping it was past the saddle. I'm not at the saddle yet. I don't know if you could see up there. It's a lot of loose rock on the side of the mountain. It's some of those things that make it very scary for me as a um, solo hiker. Scared of heights. <laughs> that might be my turnaround point. Oh gosh, I'm working myself up. Let's go try it. such a scaredy cat. It was nothing. I made it past. I hope I make it to the saddle. I don't know if this is like a false summit, but I can swear I'm close to the saddle. Well, I've gone and done it. I'm on switchbacks and my legs, I'm sweating. I'm fogging my glasses up. But I'm sweating because I'm nervous and gosh, I hate being scared of heights, but let me show you. You won't be able to tell the angle, but let me show you at quite the angle here. I just came up that way, but I don't know, it's kind of a drop and it freaks me out because of my heights, my scared, my scared, I can't even talk. My fear of heights is getting to me. I don't know. My knees start to buckle and they and then they freeze. So I might be turning around. I'm so close to the saddle. Yeah, I walked ten more feet and um this here is really loose rock. So being since I'm by myself, I am going to turn down. This is quite a feat to come up. But um my body can still go. It's my my head, that won't. And maybe it is keeping me safe. Let me show you how loose this rock is. So when you step on it, like here, loose, loose, <laughs> loose, 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 loose rock. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll pass. If I was with a partner, I might keep going because it's just, now it's hands and knees all the way to the top, so. I'm so angry at myself, but 
I made it this far. Um, guys, I have to pay attention now because there's loose rock down here too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, going down, I know I don't need two hands. <sighs> so you're going to stay with me as I get through the spots that I'm a little scared of. Make it feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> like that little turn was freaking me out because there's like a drop. There's like a drop down there. I'm echoing. Not too much. Okay. Thank you for coming along. You helped. <laughs> oh man, someday I need to get over that. Someday. If anybody has gotten over their fear of heights, let me know, because it's so frustrating sometimes. My mind just goes, nope, we're not doing that. And then my knees lock. By the way, I'm not advocating hiking alone. I should have probably put that in the very beginning. Maybe I should put that as a... Uh... Anyway, I'm not hiking. I don't, I'm not advocating hiking alone. I don't have a choice. If, um, there's two campers down there that saw me come up. And I do use my Garmin GPS and I let people know where I'm at. Like, mom usually knows where I'm at. She can follow me on map apps um so they know <laughs> i check in so um i do take some precautions there are a lot of people um that hike alone and they make it out and there's some that don't but i just want you guys to know i'm not advocating hiking alone but if i didn't hike alone i wouldn't hike I live alone, travel alone, and hike alone. Um, but as you can see, if a situation feels too much for me, either physically or mentally, I just turn around. I don't need to meet any goals or bag any peaks or anything like that. I'm just out here enjoying nature and exploring. So um, I need two hands. Okay. <laughs>